Whenever you breathe in and out or when your heart beats, you have certain body surface movements or vibrations and our radar sensor can see this as a displacement. Okay, I'm here at the um, stand of Signo at Electronica and I'm with Fabian Mischler, uh, the CEO of the company. Hello Fabian. Yeah, hello. So, um, can you describe to us what is happening here? You're a, a, a specialist company in um, RF and particularly in radar mm -hmm. technology. Um, you've got a, a radar demonstration here of, your, uh, of a product and a colleague here lying on the bed. What's going on? Yeah, okay, so in general we do a ra customized radar system design yeah. for different sensing applications and one very special application is the vital sign sensing. Yeah. Here is a radar system mounted underneath the bed. It's so there's a, a radar sensor sort of yeah, un yeah, underneath yeah. Right, yeah. underneath him, under the mattress. Yeah. It doesn't touch him, it's a contactless measurement. Yeah. And this sensor keeps measuring the distance between his body surface and the radar sensor. So the, the, the radar sensor is at a distance of a few centimeters, maybe? Let's say 15 to 20 centimeters, centimeters from, in, in this case. From yeah. the surface of yeah. the skin, yeah. yeah. Okay, and what's it doing? So how's it measuring? Yeah, um, whenever you breathe in and out or when your heart beats, you have certain body surface movements or vibrations. And our radar sensor can see this as a displacement. So and these, these movements are really small if it's just yes. the, the heart. For, for respiration, it's several millimeters. You can even see it with your eye when breathing yeah, in and yeah. out. Um, but here we're, but we're, we're measuring the uh, activity of the heart. Yeah. So there, this, the, the, this the, is much the, smaller. Yeah, so, so in what kind of range? About once per second, your heart uh, does a, a, a contraction movement, yeah. which is in the range of a few hundred micrometers. A few hundred micrometers. That's and caused very... by the closures of your heart valves, yeah. you get tiny vibrations in the range of several tens of micrometers and um, those are tiny vibrations called the hard sounds and we can measure them with our radar system and they are really helpful to get a lot of medical information from the patient. So then using uh, what, uh, an algorithm you can convert those, those uh, m movement measurements yeah, yeah, into yeah. Uh, what are we seeing here on the screen? Yeah, so uh, we are using a neural network. Yeah. Um, the input is the hard sound displacement data and the algorithm then determines the, f the timings of the first heart sounds and can then compute the heart rate from this. Yeah, so we've got heart sounds at the top and then the heart rate at the, yeah, exactly. at the bottom. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Okay, very good. Um, and uh, how would you see this being, uh, being used in the real world? Mm -hmm. So we can imagine um, putting it underneath hospital beds, which is obvious. Yeah. And um, in a previous research project, for instance, we mounted it underneath uh, patient beds at the palliative care department. There they do not want to uh, put sticky ECG electrodes right. to the patient because they do not want to limit the patient or, yes. or restrict him to the bed. Yes. And there we used our radar sensors and it was a perfect application. The doctors got data from the patients, got a lot of details about the health status which they didn't have before. And on the other hand, the patient was still free to leave the bed, he could go to restroom and so on. Um, and he didn't even even feel the, the measurement. Yeah. He was not restricted yeah. at all. So it's a very very convenient and non-invasive yeah. way of yeah. measuring yeah. Exactly. this re, the, the, yeah. the vital sign. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Very good. And, and imagine also some uh, some emergency room. We have a lot of people waiting, yeah. and you want to identify who's the the most urgent emergency. Mm. Um, sometimes the people look okay, but their vital signs might right. be completely off, and such a yeah. radar sensor integrated in a normal chair would then uh, be very helpful. Yeah, okay. Uh, so this is um, extremely precise and accurate <coughs> measurement of, uh, of distance over yep. a short range. Yep. Um, are there any other kind of applications, so separate from this, the vital signs measurement, any other applications for, for that particular kind of capability? Yeah, uh, so now we're looking at the vibrations of the human body, but uh, machines also have vibrations. Yep. And imagine pointing that radar system to a machine which has some rotating parts, yeah. a big uh, generator for instance, or turbine. Um, when there's something going wrong or materials start to, to change yeah. inside these machines, those vibrations will also change and you could capture this with a, with a radar so system. So for kind of predictive yeah. maintenance kind yeah, of Yeah, predictive maintenance, yeah, that's yeah, the yeah, key yeah, word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and in terms of the, uh, the design of your system, so um, the, uh, the, the sensor system that's, that's underneath the bed here, um, what's the, the, the hardware architecture of that? Mm -hmm. 
So what we do is we buy commercial chipsets, for instance, from the big manufacturers like Texas Instruments or in this case, Infineon Technologies. We develop the system around, so the PCB and, and all the components. And um, we also develop the software, so the firmware and the high level signal processing. So everything uh, is optimized for, for that particular purpose. And because we're experts in hardware and, and software, and we can guarantee that the system is optimized for the for the application. Yeah. And this system that we're seeing here, um, is it available as um, a standard product or is it sort of slightly customized for every single application? Um, so in general, we build radar systems not only in the medical field, but yeah. also for various other uh, applications. Absolutely. And our customers' requirements, they range from, I want to measure a vibration in 10 centimeters distance uh, up to I want to measure uh, uh, things in traffic which are 100 meters apart and we can all do it with radar systems but you have to modify them use different antenna types configurations lenses and so Absolutely. on. Absolutely, that's normal. Okay, very good. And for anyone who's um, who's watching this and, and is interested in this demonstration we, we, we're showing here, um, how, how could they, how should they um, uh, follow up their interest? How can they um, yeah. uh, get I in would touch with you? say the easiest way is just check out our homepage. Um, yeah. There we have more information on our products, also the, the Vital Sign um, radar system, which is available for purchase. Um, research institutes, universities and also medical companies are using it right now, are our clients. And contact us and we're always happy uh, to provide more information and to discuss potential applications. Brilliant. Well, thank you so much for explaining your, uh, the demonstration and your technology here, yeah, Fabian. Thank you for your interest.